Welcome to our in-depth tutorial on how to mod GTA V PC. You'll find very similar tutorials on YouTube, but we're now happy to have a series of our own breakdown videos to navigate to our friends and followers. If you're watching out of interest and considering the purchase of GTA V, please use systemrequirements.com, an amazing tool used as a search engine to select a game and then scan for compatibility. Results show if any particular hardware needs upgrading. All links will be added in the description. We recommend you back up a clean version to a hard drive as well. Today's video will feature a simple installation for mod menus and then a more advanced method using a mod manager. This is highly recommended if you still plan to play online regularly. First download the links in the description. Don't forget to show some support by dropping a like. Scripthook V is the mother for GTA V modding. You'll have to wait for an update in between DLCs and is usually the only file to be updated. Now for Rockstar users, navigate to Documents, Rockstar Games and GTA V. For Steam users, navigate to your local disk, Program Files 86, Steam and Steam Apps and then Common and extract all files to your common. This is wherever your GTA V EXE lives. Scripthook V will not work online. We'll leave some links for some reputable online mods in the description, but we highly recommend against it, as there is a massive ban risk, but we'll use a similar path. If you like to play online, we recommend using a mod manager for a more cautious installation. Instead, move all files to a new folder named at your choice. Use the first time setup tool to navigate to your common. Again, this is where your GTA V executable can be found. Once complete, use the mod manager to launch multiplayer or single player. Also, any additional script mods can be added to your mod folder and manually turned on and off throughout the manager with no harm. Also, some more advanced mod menus are Simple Trainer and Mathens Menu. This requires OpenIV, which we'll show you how to use in our next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.